The W, the WWE has filed for a trademark. Alexa Bliss, guys. What's up? It's Joe Cronin. Um, WWE has filed for a trademark for the goddess. That's right. We're going to talk about this Alexa Bliss situation. But first, on a completely unrelated note, we're going to be having sex with robots in the next 10 years. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Ah. Ooh. Uh. Um, so the WWE has um, uh, her return to the ring is getting closer and closer and closer per wrestling dot com. Uh, the former uh, five time WWE Women's Champion has this persona that's coming on. And on January 19th, the WWE officially filed for a trademark, the term the goddess as a standard character mark. So Alexa Bliss is apparently going to become the goddess or be the goddess or be called the goddess or whatever. I mean, she is a goddess. But not as goddess-like as the sex robots we're going to be having sex with in the next ten years. Ah! Oh! Ah, yeah! And now let's take a look at a, a video of me and my wife. That's the stuff that you were supposed to put up in the living room a year ago. Have it your way, piece of shit. Oh! 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 Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, I thought it was gonna hurt more. Don't. I'm sorry. Oh, I thought it was gonna hurt more. <laughs> Chances are that will be better than anything that happens on Monday Night Raw tonight. And that's a sad thing to say, and a fact to say. Leave it in the comments down below if you agree with that being better than Raw. Or the person who uses the thanks dollar sign button and donates the most down below, I'll pin your comment to the top of this video. And you'll get a bunch of adulation, and you'll get a bunch of weird invites from bots and people that want to have weird sex parties with you. It's going to be great. Hit the thanks button down below. I will pin you. And shout out to the ghost who was the top guy on the last video that we did here. Speaking of ghosts, Ghostbusters shirt. Sure, it's kind of weird. Isn't it? Anyway, apparently we got Taz reacting to Hook's debut. The first time he saw Hook in, in AEW, um, I'm sure he was a proud uh, proud father, you know, whatever you want to call it. More great stuff from Wrestling Inc. Uh, there's the website there, and there's the close-up of Hook's cock. I mean, just in case you wanted to see it, and just in case you needed to erase that from your brain you know now we can get a shot of alexa bliss so you can you guys out there who you know uncomfortable with yourselves can feel more manly again but yes hook uh when he first debuted taz with comments on this in an appearance on the show uh manager and color commentator on wrestling inc he said taz talked about the in-ring debut of hook he said oh, i was like a mess taz, taz said he was cool on commentary i i didn't want to co co commentate this match tony's like you got to i said hook what do you want he goes whatever you want to do whatever he didn't care i'm like i'd rather sit in the audience next to my wife and watch it and uh, but I did, so I commentated. Hook, yeah, my son. <laughs> and then I ate a fucking cannoli, and then I finger banged the fucking unwilling participant in the front row. <laughs> and when she told me I'm gonna call the cops on you, I said, "Hey, just make sure you tell them, you know, it was me, and use my name. My name is uh, J D from New York." <laughs> I told her that. <laughs> Uh, a little midget bastard always making fun of me. But anyway, the fact of the matter is my name is Taz, and my son is Hook, and he's off the hook. Look at his look, how he looks. You're getting stuck by Hook. Yeah, I'm Taz. I fuck. I fuck. I fuck. Philadelphia cheese steak, Brooklyn fucking Brooklyn coffee. Coffee, a fucking coffee. God, I hate those people. Um, but anyway, whatever. So Matt Hardy described his first experience when he took the Rikishi stink face. That's actually news today because there's just no wrestling news. Tonight is Monday Night Raw, and I'm going to be live after Raw to entertain all you guys when the boring shit show ends. Be here on the Joe Cronin Show for the live review. Dana Brooke, who cares about that news, by the way? I'm not going to read that article. I don't care about what Matt Hardy thinks about the stink face right now. 
I really don't care. That's how bad wrestling news is, though. I will say that. Brian Cage is still missing in action at AEW, but he's everywhere else bitching about it, and people are bitching about it, and I'm bitching about it myself. Who cares at this point? You know, a lot of these people are they're never going to do anything. Raw preview tonight. It's probably a piece of trash. Um, basically, we take a look at it. It's garbage. Tonight on Raw, Huntington Center in Toledo, Ohio. Wow, I'm sure Toledo, Ohio is going to be really fun. It's probably more fun in the streets of Toledo, Ohio. Probably a chance you get stabbed, jumped, molested. Uh, probably a chance you lose your home. A segment between RK Bro and the Raw Tag Team Champions Alpha Academy is planned tonight. That will put some butts in the seats. I'll tell you what. Raw will also feature The Miz hosting a birthday bash for his wife, Maurice. Oh, his wife, Maurice. Um, uh, she turned 39 this past Friday, guys. She's 39. WWE Hall of Famers Edge and Beth Phoenix are expected to crash the party. That's right. They're going to crash the party. If only somebody else would crash the party. Steve Austin is here, and the fact of the matter is, Raw is nothing but a piece of trash. Whenever I watch Raw, it makes me think, man, I wish Owen Hart would have killed me back in the day because I knew I'd be watching this crap. I wouldn't have wanted to live no more. Now just put that Alexa Bliss on my TV again so I can drink a couple of Steve Weisers and play with the rattlesnake, if you know what I mean. Oh, hell. Oh. Okay, uh, all right, Stone Cold, thanks, man. What the hell is going on right now in this video? I don't know what's going on, guys, and it may, I don't know, maybe that's something to do with the crack I did earlier. I don't know if that's it, but I'm drinking this water right now, so right now what I want you to do is I want you to share this video everywhere. Share it to Reddit, share it to your mother, share it to the WWE, share it to your brother, share it to the people on your street that you can see having sex across the street from you in their window. Share it to your best friend, your best buddy, your lover, your mother. Send it to your uncle, brother, motherfucker. Oh. And now we're demonetized. <laughs> oh, boy. Anyway, hit the like button and stick the thumb up my ass. Subscribe down below and don't leave yet. Don't you dare leave yet. I swear to God, if you leave yet, we still got about 30 seconds for me to get two ads on this video. So stop what you're doing right now. Leave a thanks down below. I will pin it to the top of this video. If you like more videos like this, then tell me down below. By the way, it's almost time for the next player haters ball. And I was just thinking to myself how great it would be if Leo Rush would show up at the next player haters ball. And he could be our butler. Motherfucker, I'll make his ass bring me a towel, cold towel, to pat on my head, to get the sweat off my head, my, my brow. I'm sweating to the oldies, 69, Leo Rush, you little midget motherfucker. I'm sorry, all right, uh, but I love Dave Chappelle. I'm going to go watch the Chappelle show. All right, I'm out of here. Chappelle show's on. All right, guys, we'll see you later. Chappelle show's on. Uh, continue watching my videos. They're popping up right now for you. And uh, watch these videos if you guys haven't seen them. Or become a patron of mine on Patreon.com. And, uh, yeah, man, have a good day, everybody. We'll catch you later, man. Chappelle Show, I'm out.